Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. And today, today I'm gonna show you all how to make a big pot of collard greens, baby. Absolutely I am. My mouth is set for some collard greens. I'm gonna show you all how you can make it, how easy it is to make it. Now the thing about today's greens, these greens are not whole. These greens were pre-packaged and they came in this glory bag, okay? They were pre-cut. Now, it says that they're pre-cleaned, but don't believe the hype when they say pre clean You have to clean these greens, okay? But the cutting process, you don't have to fuss with it. You don't have to worry about it. Only thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to um, put your greens, and I'm gonna show you. You're gonna have to put your greens in a sink of cold water with salt in it, and we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna rub those greens until they come clean, okay? And what I've already done, is I filled my sink up three times with cold water and I've cleaned my greens and I've used the salt as an abrasive and I've rubbed my greens together to get them nice and clean. I've rinsed them. I filled the sink up one more time and rinsed them again. I filled the sink up another time and rinsed them again. Okay, so I've already done that three times. So when I show you these greens, I'll be taking them out and putting them in the pan and starting that process. If you wanna know how to cut the whole greens what you'll need to do is go to my other collard green videos i have two other collard green videos and then i show the technique on how to take the vein out of the whole collard green how to roll your green up how to cut it and how to clean them okay so if you're curious you can always check out those two videos so today we're making collard greens for dinner it's Monday. I hope that you are having a beautiful Monday. I hope that you all had a great weekend as well. So what we're going to have for dinner today, we're going to have an oven roasted chicken. I'm going to have mashed potatoes. I'm going to show you all how to make these greens. Here's what you're going to need. Okay, of course you will need the collard greens and you can see that I have my greens in the cold water. All right. And now when you get the pre-chopped greens you will see some stems if you're that person that says i don't really care for the stems then what you do is you just carefully go through yours and you take out all of the, all of the stems that you see in there the ingredients that you will need you will need smoked turkey wings or you could use smoked turkey legs you could use smoked turkey necks you're going to need a little bit of sugar and the sugar is definitely optional. And normally I use around a tablespoon to two tablespoons of white sugar in my greens. You will need a fresh garlic clove. I have a monstrous, look how huge this garlic clove is. And I'm going to use every bit of it. I'm going to chop it up just like so. And we're going to use that. Okay. And then you're going to need chicken bouillon cube. All right. So I have two chicken bouillon cubes right here that we're going to use. You will need sea salt, apple cider vinegar. You can use white vinegar as well. You will need cracked black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, red chili pepper flakes. You will need chicken broth as well as green bell peppers and white onions. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. Let's make our way back over to our greens. Okay, let me get in this way. You want to make sure that your sink has been clean, impeccably clean, okay? Because you never want to put your greens into a dirty sink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain this water. I'm going to rinse it one more time, and then we'll get the cooking process going. Okay, so I rinse my greens for the last time. I'm putting more cold water in, and then I'm going to rinse it one more time. Now, let's make our way over this way. And I'm gonna show you what I like to do to my smoked turkey. If you are using ham hocks or some type of, um, you know, ham bone or something, you would wanna do this as well with it. I'm putting score pieces into the meat. This is smoked turkey wings. See that there, score your meat. And it's not hard, just put a couple slits in. And it will help for this to be nice, fall apart, tender. Okay? Just like so. 
All right, now we're going to start building flavor. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's make our way over to my pan that we're going to use. Beautiful. And you can see that I have some water in the pan. Go ahead and put your turkey wings in. If you were going to use a ham hock, you would do the same process. And what you're going to do is you want to build flavor. I know I just mentioned that, but I just can't stress it enough. You're, we're going to cook these wings for an hour. We're going to cook these wings for an hour before we even put our greens in. And what that'll do is it'll cause for our greens to go into a broth of nice and tender turkey. You don't want to put your greens in here right now because these wings take much longer than you think. Go ahead and give them a head start in the cooking process and start getting them nice and tender and releasing their beautiful flavor into this water before we put our greens in. So now what we're going to do, go ahead and put one of your chicken bouillon cubes in. That's a big chicken bouillon cube. If you can't find the kind this big, this is made by Knorr. If you can't find one this big, then just use two. So go ahead and put that in there. We're gonna put some sea salt in. Don't get crazy with the salt because later we'll go back and we'll re-season. We're gonna use some apple cider vinegar, just like so. We're gonna use a little bit of sugar just a little bit when I tell you, okay? That's it. And then like I said later, we'll go back. We're gonna taste our broth, taste all of the seasonings, and if we feel like we need more, then later you can put more, but you don't have to right now. Cracked black pepper. Let's get some onion powder in. We're gonna cook this on a medium high heat. And we're gonna put some garlic powder in, just like so. Don't be afraid, don't you dare be afraid to season your food, okay? You have to season it in order for it to taste good. We wanna put some chili, pe chili pepper flakes in. If you have someone in your family that cannot eat the chili pepper flakes, then don't put it in. And really, it's that simple. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. Okay, let's go ahead. I have two 32 ounces of chicken broth. We're gonna go ahead and use one. The other one will be used later. So put the whole thing in there. Let's see. There we go. I'm gonna use the whole box. This is gonna to cook together with our beautiful smoked turkey. We are making a marriage in this pot that's going to be absolutely amazing. This is the beginning of what they call pot liquor. And this pot liquor is gonna be so delicious. You li listen to me when I tell you. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and smash a garlic clove. And you wanna make sure that you wash your smoked turkey off and all i did was i'm doing that with the garlic because it gives it a nice smash and it helps to take the, the skin off if you don't smash it that way you'll be peeling for days trying to get that skin off when you give it a nice whack with your knife that skin will come off with no problem now what i want to do i want to go ahead and give this a nice chop through. You don't have to chop it too fine, okay? Because we're gonna cook this so long, this garlic is just gonna turn into flavor. It's just gonna melt down to flavor land, you hear me? It's gonna put off a lot of flavor. You need the fresh garlic and the garlic powder. I know there's a lot of people that ask me, Gina, how come you use garlic powder and fresh garlic? It's just because I want to. Okay, and if you don't want to, it's really up to your discretion. Okay, now that we have our garlic chopped, put your garlic right on into this pot. Okay, 
come over this way and I'll show you what we're doing. I'm just putting that right on in there, just like so. Okay, now let's make our way to the onion and the bell pepper because we're gonna need some of that in our pot for flavor as well. Now, later, we're gonna put more onion and more bell pepper in, okay? But when we put that in later, it'll be towards the end of the cooking process. This onion and bell pepper that's going in now, it's going to disintegrate into flavor land as well. It's just going to get mushy and it's going to turn into flavor and kind of, like I said, disintegrate. All right, because this will be cooked so long. You don't want to chop it into big pieces. Try your best to make it as small as you can. And you don't have to put too much in. Okay, I'm just going to use a half of onion. This right here will do me. I'm going to use just a little bit of this bell pepper. Because like I said, later we're going to use more of both. All right. Give it a nice chop. Just like so. Everything, listen here. Everything that I do in this kitchen, so, so, so easy. Nothing is hard. Nothing is hard that I do. Everything that I make, you all can make as well and enjoy it. And it's going to turn out exactly like mine's. And that's what I want you all to know. I've been getting lots of emails of people showing me their food and recipes that they've made. And they're so proud of their self. And like I always like to say, you all can do the exact same thing that I can do. Absolutely you can. I love doing the tutorials showing you all how to make something. And then you all say, I did it. I did it. And you know what's crazy is when you all show me the pictures, it looks exactly like mine. And I'm pretty sure it tastes just like mine. And I am so proud of you guys. And I am so thankful that I can share my recipes with you all. And that you all make the recipes. And I'm so glad that you all are enjoying the recipes. Okay, so now, let's go ahead. Put our bell pepper and our onion in. Just like so. Towards the end of the cooking process, like I said, we'll put more pepper and onion in. All right, we're gonna let this cook for a good hour before the greens go in. The greens have been cleaned to perfection and they're just waiting on this sauna of goodness to get going. So once this is cooked for about an hour, I'll come back, we'll put our greens in. Okay, everybody, you can see on both sides of me, I have greens that came out of the sink that's ready to go into this pan. This pan of our beautiful seasonings, our vegetables, and our smoked turkey has been cooking for around about an hour. Now let's go ahead, put this right on top, okay? Now... The thing about greens is they like to shrink. What do you mean by shrink, Gina? Well, what I mean by shrink is you're gonna have these greens way up here, but then maybe in a half an hour, they'll be way down here. Can you see that finger down there? Yes, absolutely, they will shrink. So don't feel like you have too much greens. I use three bags today. Three of those pre-cut bags is what I use. Now, when I get the fresh greens, I always use seven bundles, okay? Absolutely, I do. And we can eat on greens for a roundabout with seven bundles or three bags. You can eat on your greens for maybe, let's see, a family of four. You can eat on those greens for about three to four days, okay? All depending on how hungry everybody is. Uh, maybe two days. <laughs> All right? So here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna put the greens in just like so, and I'm gonna pile them up to the top, okay? Now what's gonna happen, they're gonna shrink, like I said. Go ahead and put a lid on them. And here in about 10 minutes, we can come back. These will be shrunk down, and then we can put these ones in, all right? And then you're just gonna let them simmer. Let them simmer and let them simmer and let them simmer. You can cook these just a little bit higher than low heat. If you decide that you wanted to cook these up on high, they will turn into mush. 
That's the worst thing that you want to do is rush greens. Greens have to be cooked slow, okay? Slow and low is the way to go when you want perfection when you're making greens. Cook them on a low heat, and if you don't have a couple hours to cook these, then greens aren't for you. <laughs> I'm so serious. Give them some time. Give them some time to cook. You have to have time when you're making collards, okay? Or any type of green. So we're gonna put the lid on, let these shrink down. We'll come back and we'll put more in. Okay, everybody, it's been 10 minutes. I was able to put the second batch of greens in. The greens are in. Don't worry about stirring them. Let's get your lid on there. These will cook down. We'll come back and check them in probably about an hour. And then we'll start stirring everything together, okay? I'll see you all in an hour. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Now, take a look at the greens. They're starting to get nice and tender. It's been around about an hour and a half, okay? And I tasted the pot liquor, and it tastes absolutely amazing. But... It still needs more seasoning. And we're going to season it during this cooking process. And we're still going to put more bell peppers in. We're going to chop some bell peppers. We're going to chop some more onion and put that in. And check this out. Right here is our smoked turkey wings. Look what happened when I pulled it out of the pot. It, it came right off of the bone. That's when you know it's tender. That is when you know it's tender. I picked it up and all of this beauty, look at this meat. It's just falling apart like butter. You see that? Falling apart like butter. That's what it should do. And that's the reason why we cooked the meat before we put the greens in. So here's what we're gonna do. I wanna let this meat cool down so that I can handle it because right now it's really, really hot. Once it cools down, I'm gonna pull it apart. We're gonna throw it back in our pan of greens. We're gonna season up our pot liquor once more. We're gonna put that lid on it and we're gonna let it continue to simmer until these greens get nice and tender. Be back. Okay, everybody, you can see that I have all of our beautiful smoked turkey, nice and pulled off the bone. I have onion chopped as well as green pepper. Over here, our greens are smelling delicious. These greens smell so good, my mouth is watering. I cannot wait to sink my teeth down into these beautiful greens. Now, some of the water uh, evaporated, so I just put some extra chicken broth in my greens. If you don't have chicken broth, use water. And really, it's that simple, okay? Now, once I get this in there, I'm gonna give my broth a taste to see what it tastes like. If I'm happy with the seasoning, then I'm not gonna re-season. If I feel like I need more seasoning, Sorry about that, everybody. I needed to answer my phone. Okay, so if I feel like I need more seasoning, then we'll put more in. But if not, then hey, all right, but I want to taste it after I mix this meat back in. And so I've been cooking this on just a little above low, just a little above low heat. And so actually this has been cooking around about two hours, uh, maybe a little longer, okay? Look at this. We're going to have a piece of meat in every bite. That's the kind of greens that I like. When you bite down into these greens, every spoon is gonna have a piece of meat in there. Now me personally, I have made greens with ham bones and you know, ham hocks and things like that. But as I've gotten older, I enjoy the taste of a nice smoked turkey. You know, and it's, it's healthier, so why not? You know, and that smoked turkey gives a great flavor. You talking about a great flavor? My goodness. Hooey. Now, here's what I want to do. Let me grab a spoon and I want to taste this pot liquor. Come to me. Come to me, baby. Look at this. My goodness. 
Just want to taste the broth only. Look at that. My goodness, that's all flavor. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. It's tasty. My goodness, it's tasty. But I do feel, I do feel like it needs some more seasoning. So then you just put more seasoning in. And really, it's that simple. That's onion powder. A little bit of pepper flakes. If you don't want the pepper flakes, hey, don't put them in. Garlic powder, just like so. A little bit of sea salt. Don't put too much in. Apple cider, vinegar. There's a lot of people that's really not fond of vinegar. And if you are that person, don't use the vinegar, okay? And really, it's that simple. Put you some cracked black pepper in. Just like so. I hope that you all are having a great Monday today. It's beautiful outside. The birds are chirping. I have my windows open. And my mouth is watering for these greens. You hear me? Hoo-wee! Man, my mouth is watering. And a pinch of salt. Or not salt, but a pinch of sugar. That's it. That's it, guys. Those are the bases. And of course, your chicken broth. This is the base to where you can make beautiful greens every time. Beautiful, I mean, listen here. By the time these greens are done, this pot liquor right here, this juice is what I call pot liquor. It's gonna be so flavorful, you hear me? You're gonna be sipping on this pot liquor, my goodness. Hoo wee Mm, mm, mm. And your family, they're going to lose their mind when they taste these greens. The key is to get them tender. Make sure you have the time to cook these because these could cook. Honestly, these could cook for three to three and a half hours. But here's the thing. I have the time. I want to give this a taste. Let me taste this. Going in with a new spoon. Mmm, mm-hmm, that's it. Perfect. Mm, mm, mm. Let's cover it up, let it go, and I'll be back. When, next time I come back, I'll be back when the greens are nice and tender. We're gonna pray over our greens, we're gonna give them a taste, and I'm gonna let y'all know what it tastes like. Okay, everybody, our greens are done. They are so delicious. My goodness, I can't get, oh, I can't taste these fast enough. Let's go, guys. Let's give these bad boys a taste. Look at this. This pot liquor is amazing. You hear me? This meat is nice and tender, and it's so flavorful. Oh, my goodness. I promise you guys, I want you all to go out Grab all the ingredients you're going to need to make this and message me and let me know what you all think about Jeannie Young's Collard Greens. My goodness, look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And it's full of meat. Full of meat. In every bite, we're going to have some meat. Beautiful. God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for this meal today. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding, and your blessings. We thank you for the roof over our head, the food that you feed us, and the love that you give us daily. Thank you for this meal once again. Amen. Let's go, guys. Let's go. How many of you want a little bit of hot sauce on your greens? How about we do just that? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You all that know me, you know I'm not a hot sauce person. But sometimes you got to have a little bit of hot sauce. Okay, just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. Don't get crazy with the hot sauce. <clears throat> let's dig in of course I'm gonna let you all have the first bite my goodness Hoo it's hard to hold it because this is so hot let's dig in let's dig in oh Lord have mercy look at this I cannot wait oh they're so tender now 
How long did they cook? They cooked for three hours. Three hours and ten minutes. But guess what? I'm going to have these greens for the next three days. And I'm going to enjoy these bad boys. You know, sometimes you got to wait. Sometimes you got to just wait and be patient for what you want. Right? Absolutely you do. Look at this. Let's go in. Who will make you hurt yourself? You hear me? My goodness. Let's taste that pot liquor. This beautiful pot liquor. Taste that. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on this notification bell so that you can be notified every time. Every time, every time, every time, Jenny Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. One more bite, one more bite, one more bite. Taste those bad boys. Mm. 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 I gotta go sit down and enjoy these guys. I love you all until the next video. Good night.